Blood pressure is a major issue for Australians because we know that one in three adult Australians are affected and you can't look in the mirror and know that so you have to go to your GP and have it checked. And the other thing we know that even if you have high blood pressure recognised and treated, one in half Australians don't reach their blood pressure targets to reduce their risk of heart attack and stroke in the future. High blood pressure is the number one preventable cause of heart attacks and stroke in, in Australia. So if you do have high blood pressure, you're sometimes two, three, four times more likely to have a heart attack and stroke in the future. The key findings of the Viper blood pressure study, which involved an intensive and structured management program for blood pressure over six months, were this, that we could achieve target far better in the Viper blood pressure intervention than people exposed to usual care in practice with their GP. We also found that patients exposed to Viper BP were 25% less likely to have a heart attack and stroke at the end of the study. High blood pressure in itself is linked to many things such as diabetes and to being obese, uh, but the primary reason that you get heart attacks and stroke from blood pressure, from high blood pressure, is the stress that we put on the organs that matter. That is your brain, your heart, and your kidneys. If you have high blood pressure causing through those organs, it damages them and you're more likely to develop disease in the future. The implications for this trial are clear, that if you apply a structured, intensive approach to blood pressure management, if you profile them to get their BP target, if you follow the Viper blood pressure intervention, you're far more likely to get your blood pressure down in your patients and reduce their risk of future heart attacks and strokes. When I went to the doctor, it was 160 over 120. So far too high, but I did tell him that was because I'd had a bad accident and cut my thumb. <laughs> but um, it was still, I'd known I was borderline for quite a while. And um, now it's down to 120 over 80. So um, sometimes even a bit less. So I'm really thrilled with the results. Don't run the risk of having a heart attack or a stroke. I'd advise you just to get to the doctor and have it um, checked and then monitored and follow whatever the GP says because there's so much help out there and it's a very simple way to control your blood pressure by just taking one tablet a day.